Hi guys! Ang sasagutan natin ngayon is itong problem 1.3-2 from the Transport Processes and Unit Operations 3rd Edition by Christy Ginkoplis. Well, this problem is about the oxidation of carbon monoxide and mole units. Okay, so let's first analyze the problem. The gas carbon monoxide is being oxidized by O2 to form carbon dioxide. How many kilogram of carbon dioxide will be formed from 56 kilogram of carbon monoxide? And also, calculate the kilogram of oxygen theoretically needed for this reaction. So, meron na tayong answer dito, no? Kailangan lang natin is yung solution niya. May pakita natin. So, nagbigay siya rito ng hint kung paano raw ito sagutan. So, first, write the balanced chemical equation to obtain the mole of O2 needed for 1 kilogram mole of CO. Then, calculate the kilogram mole of CO in 56 kilogram of carbon monoxide. Okay, so gawin natin yung recommendation niya, no? So, gawa muna tayo ng chemical equation niya. So, in here we have carbon monoxide being oxidized to form carbon dioxide. So, we have here carbon monoxide uh, being oxidized to form carbon dioxide. So, syempre, ang una natin gagawin is to balance yung ating chemical reaction. No? So, we have 3 oxygen on the left and only 2 on the right and we have 1 is to 1 carbon. So, if I put 2 in our carbon monoxide and put 2 on our carbon dioxide, we will have a balanced reaction right here, right? Okay, so ang given sa atin is that we have 56 kg of carbon monoxide. Okay, so we have a given. 56 kilogram of carbon monoxide. And ang required natin is first to find out the weight of the carbon dioxide that will be formed from 56 kilogram of carbon monoxide. So we need to find out the weight of carbon dioxide that will be formed from this reaction. And also, we are asked to find out yung theoretical oxygen natin for this reaction. No? So, weight of O2 needed in kilogram. So, ang given natin is 56 kilogram of carbon monoxide. Now, we will perform stoichiometry here, pero hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung basta na lang weight. So, we need to convert this into moles. No? So, so, we need to take the number of moles of carbon monoxide. And this will be equal to yung weight ng ating carbon monoxide which is 56 kilogram of carbon monoxide. And then, we need to multiply it to its molecular weight. Well, carbon monoxide has a molecular weight of 28.01 kilogram. No? So, let's say we have 28 kilogram right here. So, we have 28 kilogram of carbon monoxide in 1 kilogram mole. Okay? So, our number of moles of carbon monoxide is equal to 2 kilogram mole. Okay? So, we have 2 kilogram mole of carbon monoxide. So, now we have here 2 kilogram moles of carbon monoxide. Now, performing stoichiometry, we could get the number of moles of carbon dioxide and oxygen. No? Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, we would like to ask for your support by subscribing sa ating YouTube channel. Please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ipopost namin. So, since first we'll be asked to determine the weight of carbon dioxide, then, let us first take the number of moles of carbon dioxide that will be formed. So, we'll have here the number of moles of carbon dioxide, which is equal to 2 kilogram moles of CO, which is what we got from here. And then, we'll get the stoichiometry of that for carbon dioxide. So, we have here 2 kilogram mole of CO 
as you can see, we have 2 is to 2 here, no? Of CO. Then you'll have 2 kilogram mole of CO2. So this basically will be 2 over 2. Will be cancelled out. So that means the number of moles of carbon dioxide is also 2 kilogram mole. Now we are being asked to get the weight of the carbon dioxide here. Therefore, we have to use its molecular weight to convert this into weight. No? So we have the weight of CO2 is equal to the number of moles of our CO2, which is 2 kilogram mole of CO2 times its molecular weight. So what's the molecular weight of carbon dioxide? So carbon dioxide is 44 kilogram per kilogram mole. So we'll have here 44 kilogram of CO2 per 1 kilogram mole of CO2. Okay, these units will be cancelled out. So we will have here the weight of CO2 is equal to 2 times 44 kilogram which is equal to 88 kilogram of CO2. And this is the answer for the first question that we have right here, okay? So I'll just box this. Okay, so sagutan natin itong sunod yung B natin, no? So now we are being asked for the theoretical oxygen. So again, we will do this stoichiometry to get the number of moles of oxygen. So we'll have here the number of moles of O2 is equal to, we have the number of moles of CO which is equal to 2. We have 2 kilogram mole of CO times our stoichiometry. So we have 2 kilogram mole of CO and only 1 kilogram mole of O2. Therefore, this is equal to 1 kilogram mole of O2. Okay, so alam na natin kung ilang moles meron tayo ng O2. Now, what being asked is the kilogram of O2 theoretically needed. So we need to use our molecular weight to determine the weight of our O2. So weight of O2 is equal to 1 kilogram mole of O2 times its molecular weight. No, In 1 kilogram mole of O2, we have 32 kilograms. So we have 32 kilogram of O2 in 1 kilogram mole ng O2. Okay, so we'll have here 32 kilogram of O2. So this is our final answer for letter B question, okay? So, as you can see, kapareho yan ng expected answer natin right here. Well, that's it for now, guys, and thank you for watching. We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org. It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much, and have a nice day!